Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Science of Battlestar Galactica panel here at New York Comic Con. Uh, my name is Patrick DiGesto. I'm one of the authors of the book, The Science of Battlestar Galactica. Uh, sitting next to me here is Dr. Kevin Grazier. He was the science advisor for the show Battlestar Galactica. He is the other author of the book as well. We, we tried to get permission to use actual clips from the show, and to make a very long story short, we couldn't. So we did the Bob next thing. permission is one thing, being able to afford it is another. <laughs> <laughs> so we did the next best thing. You know what? We're going to start this one again because it's just too good. <laughs> what are you doing here? <clears throat> Admiral, remember when I said there was something unusual about the cybernetic baby's blood? <laughs> yes, I remember. <laughs> we discovered what that is. And what is it? <laughs> cybernetic blood is almost no different from our own. Oh. Yes, but surely there must be some differences. Get on with it, Doctor. <laughs> it turns out that the cybernetic baby's blood has no antigens. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> it has no antigens. It has no blood type. Did you say that there's no blood type? Yes. <laughs> baby has no blood type. That was up. It is astonishing. Perhaps we can use its blood to cure the president. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We remember that scene from the episode of Tiffany's when uh, they're examining little baby, little fetus Hera, and Dr. Cottle says that the baby's blood is damned odd. And then later on, Dr. Baltar says, yes, we've discovered it's very odd. It has no blood type. And I remember sitting there watching this, saying, wow, no blood type. That is, so, that is such a science fiction-y idea. And then I started to think about it. I have no blood type. And approximately 40% of you have no blood type. It turns out that starting around the year 1600, uh, Jean Saint-Denis was the um, official uh, physician to the King of France. And he made a name for himself in the theory of blood transfusion. And the name he made was the defendant, because patients kept dying and he kept being prosecuted for murder. <laughs> Eventually, just as in our own days, where our own courts have limited the types of stem cell research that can be done in the United States, in the 1600s, the courts limited the types of transfusions that could be done. This guy was transfusing sheep blood into humans and vice versa on the theory that blood was blood. And it was disgusting, but it was a scientific experiment that proved all blood is not the same. Well, about 200 years later, uh, gradually the theories of blood transfusion started to get going again, and various scientists realized that there was at least two different types of blood, which were called type A and type B. They had different antigens floating around in the blood, uh, in the bloodstream. A little bit later, they found there was a type that had no antigens, just like little baby Hera. No antigens became blood type zero. And this is like around the late 1800s. And if you ever listen to old people giving a telephone number where there's a zero, sometimes they'll say O instead. That's what happened. Blood type zero became blood type O. I have blood type O approximately, statistically, about 40% of you will have blood type O, which means you have no blood type. You are very much like this Cylon fetus. Where are they? Well, see, that's the thing. In series two, we didn't know that yet. So here is this fantastic clue that they're handing to us, and you've got to, like, you know, jump through several conceptual hoops. But Dr. Cottle and Dr. Baltar are absolutely amazed that this creature has no blood type. 
Now, what does that tell you? Among other things, the colonial population has no blood type O. Now, do they have a totally different blood type than ours? Are they limited to type A and type B? As we discussed in the book, with, this, is, this is all from the book. As we discussed in the book, it turns out type O is a genetic mutation of a type A. I should have been a type A. There's a mutation. I don't make those antigens, so I am type 0 or type O, as well as 40% of you are. The colonial population doesn't have that mutation. So what did we learn if we were willing to go through the hoops? We learned that the colonial population has a limited type of blood. The Cylons have a different type of blood. And we have all three types of blood. We had the story of whether or not we were Cylons or they were or the Cylons were our ancestors or whatever. We had the story in the second season, and pretty much none of us really put it together. But the clues were all there. 